In this video, I will discuss how XMP files work in Nitro for Mac and iOS. Nitro stores ratings, edits, and flags in XMP files. XMP is an Adobe-created standard for storing metadata. XMP is a text file format based on XML. There are public areas of an XMP file, called namespaces, that apps can read and write to, which enables sharing of data between apps. There are also private namespaces that apps use to write data that they don't expect other companies to read or write. Of course, since XMP is just text, other apps can read them, but generally it's not done. For ratings, Nitro will read and write ratings to the public namespace, which means that ratings you set in Lightroom or other apps that use XMP will show up in Nitro, and vice versa, with some exceptions. For keywords, Nitro will read keywords from the public area. The current version of Nitro does not write keywords, but when it does, it will write them to the same public area. For flags, there is no public area for flags, so Nitro reads and writes flags to its private namespace. Similarly, for edits, there is no public definition for editing parameters either, so Nitro stores its editing information in a private namespace. This would seem to be a simple topic, but nothing is ever truly simple. There are two parts to a file name, the name itself and the file extension. There are two ways of storing XMP data, in a sidecar and inside the original file itself. Adobe writes XMP to a sidecar for proprietary raw files, that is, any raw file except DNGs. So for example, this Sony ARW file you see here. For DNGs and for non-RAW files like TIFFs, JPEGs, HEFs, etc., Adobe writes the XMP directly into the image file. This is handy because the metadata is carried along with the pixel data, but it's a bit dangerous because of the non-zero risk of file corruption. It also doesn't work if the image is locked or read-only, or if it's a movie or other format that cannot store XMP. In contrast, Nitro always makes a sidecar file. For proprietary RAW files, the sidecar file name is the same that you'd see with Adobe applications. Nitro uses the original file name and changes the file extension to XMP, as you can see right here. So for 5.arw, you can see the file name is 5.xmp. Sidecars in Nitro are always located next to the original files. However, for other file types, that naming convention is not guaranteed to work because there could be multiple files with the same root file name. The most obvious case is RAW plus JPEG, where there's a JPEG original next to the RAW original and they have the same file name with different extensions. Since it's possible to work with both files independently, if Nitro used the same naming convention it used for proprietary RAW files, the XMP files would collide. Nitro would name the XMP file for both of them the same, which means changes to the RAW would override changes that you made to the XMP for the JPEG and vice versa. To avoid that problem, Nitro adds a suffix to the XMP file name. You can see that here with this JPEG from the NEF JPEG pair. That avoids any file name collision. The downside is that other apps may be unable to read these files because they're not expecting to use that file name convention. The other half of the name problem is the file extension. As you may have noticed, the file extension that Nitro uses for XMP is always lowercase even if the original file is all uppercase, as you can see again here with this 30.dng. The reason for that is to work better with case-sensitive file systems and Adobe apps. iPhones and iPads always use a case-sensitive file system. So here on this iPad, you can see I've got two files that have basically the same name, but with different case. That's generally not allowed on the Mac. The Mac is usually case insensitive, so that those two names will be the same file on the Mac, unless you deliberately make a case sensitive file system using disk utility. Windows is also case insensitive. Adobe apps always use a lowercase file extension, so to avoid issues reading and writing data with Adobe apps, Nitro uses the same convention. Here's an example of the problem. If Nitro used an uppercase file extension on iOS, and Adobe uses a lowercase file extension, you'd have two files for XMP, which each were carrying information, and now you don't know which file to use. 
and the files won't interoperate. Unfortunately, not all apps do the same thing with lowercase file extensions for XMP. Some use uppercase file extensions, and some web services will change the file extension of an XMP file from uppercase to lowercase and vice versa. It's a mess, really. The important things to know are, one, the XMP file must have a lowercase extension for Nitro to read it, and two, if you somehow get an XMP file that's uppercase, you will want to rename it to lowercase, which I'll cover in the next section. There's a menu item in Nitro for Mac and iOS that lets you rename sidecar file extensions. You'll find it here in the plus menu or in the contextual menu here. If you pick it, the app will look at all the sidecar files in that directory and rename them to have a lowercase file extension. You rarely will need to use this, but it's very important to have in the event that you have such a problem. And that's it for XMP files using Nitro for Mac and iOS. Thanks for watching.